Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Six Stones and in this video I will be discussing my thoughts on The Boys Season 3. If you end up enjoying the video please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. In the background I will be having some art in a time lapse of Homelander in which I drew. The references you can find on my other platforms such as Instagram and Twitter. Also this review will contain spoilers so if you do not want to get spoiled on The Boys Season 3 and have not watched it yet, I highly suggest clicking off now. Now that we've gotten everything out of the way, let's talk about The Boys Season 3. Overall thoughts on The Boys Season 3? I think this season's been fantastic. It's my favourite season so far. It gets me extremely excited for what's to come. The Boys in general, just as a show, has just only gotten better with each season, even when it already had a great start. It is one of the best comic book shows around right now. And I feel confident saying that, in my opinion, at least. I only had a few gripes with the season. Only a few things bugged me, and those things didn't show up until close to the end of the season. None of them are things that could not be solved in future seasons. So, it's nothing that really puts a major damper on the season for me, or anything like that. I still think it's a fantastic season. So, if you've seen my previous reviews, I like to start with the positives before going into the few negatives and gripes I might have. Starting off, great acting all around. Everybody is just in their zone, killing it as all of these characters. I have a few standout characters and that, like few highlight characters that I would like to put a specific attention on, which I will later in the video. But nobody undersells, nobody underperforms, everybody does a great job. At this point, it's to be expected. They've done so since season one, and you can just tell that they have mastered their craft here in season three. This season's story as well was also just very thrilling. A lot of times when watching this, I was on the edge of my seat or I was fearing for a lot of characters. And there was just a lot of very well done and very well written twists in each episode where I was left gasping or speechless that said thing happened or I was on the edge of my seat when something happened. Examples being when Homelander announced himself as Starlight's boyfriend which shook me or the death of Starlight's friend that joined the Seven who I cannot remember right now the name of but that was shocking. Obviously Herogasm amazing with the final with the not the final fight but the fight between Homelander, Butcher, Soldier Boy, and Huey, where the suspense in that fight was so well done, it was so well choreographed and everything, I was on the edge of my seat, I got to the point where I was genuinely about to believe that Homelander was going to lose his powers, and they were going to actually get Homelander in that episode. Regardless of the fact that there was multiple episodes left for the rest of the season, and there was most likely going to be another season, I was still in the moment, cheering and hoping that they got this man and I was still distraught when this man flew out the room. The way they write this show to have you on the edge of your seat is great. It's so well done and I can't wait for more in season 4. Another thing I want to point out is the action this season some great action sequences this season. Love that we got to see more powers this season, especially with the addition of some of the boys having powers now with Huey and Butcher. Really elevates the action sequences of this season. Seeing Butcher with his eye beams just going off, beaming down people is so satisfying to see. There's just something super satisfying about eye beams in general that I just love in media in general, but particularly in the boys as well. Huey's new teleport where he has to be naked which is both hilarious but also cool to see and multiple other great fight scenes. Kimiko also provides some great action sequences as usual with a touch of heart which I'll get into her character in a moment and just multiple other great action sequences as well just on the edge of my seat. One character that gets the biggest props from me for great action sequences was Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy was just crazy this season. He was so good this season. I do want to talk about him further in depth when I go into this next section where I talk about my highlight characters of this season. Now, the obvious number one highlight character of this season, the man, the GOAT himself, the greatest superhero of all time, Homelander. Homelander this season was 
absolutely terrifying but also absolutely amazing at the same time every time this man was on screen i was more terrified of him than i have been any other season but there was also moments where i actually felt for him in this season which is wild considering the things this man has done that this show manages to make you feel for homelander while also being disgusted and terrified of homelander and a lot of that is due to the amazing acting work from Anthony Starr in this show. The man just is Homelander. I couldn't imagine anybody else playing this role better than Anthony Starr. He owns this character. Just like how Robert Downey Jr. owns Iron Man, and Chris Evans owns Cap, and some would say Chris Hemsworth owns Thor, Anthony Starr owns Homelander, and he knocks it out of the park in this season. The whole season, there were so many points where I'm just waiting for this man to break. I'm like, this man is going to lose it any second now. And they keep that tension going throughout the whole season with this character, and they use it in a really good way to manipulate your emotions so that they can lead you in paths that you do not expect. Because the whole season, I'm thinking Homelander's going to snap by the time this season ends and he's going to lose it and he's just going to say i don't care anymore and they put a lot of things there to make you believe that the scene with him and starlight where uh, he says if i cannot be loved then i'll take being feared fantastic scene and fantastic line and genuinely got me to believe that he was going to just end up not caring at the end of the season but instead they lead you down a different route where he's actually more caring at the end of the season with the reveal of soldier boy being obviously his father now and then him going and finding ryan and that great scene where he speaks to ryan and in that moment i was shook by the fact that he sounded like a genuine good father in that moment and putting myself in the shoes of ryan and what i what he's been through i don't blame him for siding with homelander because at the end of the day what he said was true to a certain extent so possibly one of the best comic book characters of all time i feel he solidified himself as one of the best villains of all time i'm not saying he is the best because there's a lot of good contenders out there that we could discuss right but he's definitely put himself up there as one of the best antagonists one of the best characters yeah he's just fantastic can't wait to see more of him and see what happens and where they go with his character in season four as he's in a very unique spot now that he can kill people and people don't care or at least the people that like him will support him and there's a lot of people that want to support him so yeah very excited to see where he goes another highlight character that i'd like to talk about is butcher another character in this show that is just a phenomenal standout and is one of the highlights of this series as a whole. Because when you think the boys, at least for me, there's two characters you instantly think about. Homelander and Butcher. And they do such a good job of focusing on that this season. So many moments setting up their rivalry. Scorched Earth. You're constantly on the edge of your seat waiting to see it. Waiting to see that scorched earth moment. And they hold you. They hold you on that thread. Because I don't believe we've fully seen scorched earth just yet. And I do think in the coming seasons, in either season four or season five, because realistically I only see two more seasons of the show left. At most, there could just be one. We will see scorched earth. Butcher this season provides just everything you've loved from the Butcher in the first two seasons, while also providing some amazing action sequences now that he has powers with temp v as i said before with his new fancy glowy yellow eye beams some good emotional moments with the character as well carl urban just like anthony Starr, owns the character of butcher he does such an amazing job with this character the moments in this season when he's thinking about his past in the mindstorm episode when he's thinking about his past with his brother and how that relates to Huey and how Huey reminds him of his brother and we see how much regret Butcher really has and then we see him also in the beginning of the season at least trying to be a good father to Ryan trying to keep that promise to his wife and then we see him lash out at Ryan obviously because well one because Ryan did or was at least the reason that led to his wife's death. So there's understandable anger there. 
But I do also think Butcher did it because he wanted to keep Ryan away from him and wanted to protect his son. And he thought the best way to protect his son was to keep Ryan away from him, which is understandable. And it's written so well in this season because you have the parallel now where Homelander shows Ryan that care. He shows him that attention that he craves. And now look, it's led to the reverse of what happened at the end of season two, where Ryan sided with Butcher. And now Ryan sided with Homelander. The writing in the show is amazing, man. Butcher, great character this season. Next character on the list is none other than Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy this season was so damn good. He is such an amazing addition to this series. And so is Jensen Ackles. I have not watched Supernatural, so I have not really seen much from Jensen Ackles in terms of acting. But he kills it in this show. And now I understand why he has so many fans. He plays Soldier Boy so well. Soldier Boy is such a piece of work. I would use more colourful language, and it would make sense considering we're talking about the boys, but I know YouTube's a bit iffy. I don't know, I'm new around here, so bear with me. But Soldier Boy is so good in this season. He plays the identity of the Captain America type. If he was a bit more true to how white people acted around, then, you know, at least, you know, the bad white people, right? I'm not saying what white people are bad, but, you know, <laughs> gotta clarify, I don't want to get cancelled. Yeah, like, how somebody like that would act right now with the macho nature, the toxic ma masculinity, racism, the homophobia, you know, all that stuff. He just plays that role really well. Another character that delivers such great action sequences, really does damn good, uses that shield in such really cool ways, and he just feels so powerful when he does it all. The addition of him being the one that can sap people's powers with his energy beam, so cool, because whenever he's around, you're constantly afraid, because at any moment he could explode and mess up everybody in the ring. So he has just as much as a presence as Homelander and Butcher. And then the season finale with the twist of him being disappointed in Homelander, because the moment you find out that he knows that he's Homelander's father, I thought they were going to team up. I was scared. I thought Homelander and Soldier Boy are now going to be best friends, and we're going to have them now running everything, and the next season we'll be dealing with the pair of them. Nope. Wrong. He don't like him. He don't like him. He don't like his own son. Because just like how his father told him, he told Homelander he's a disappointment. Which is understandable because when I was having discussions, people pointed out that Homelander does act like a man-child. I guess Soldier Boy saw that. I guess the reaction makes sense. Plus, Soldier Boy is obviously the case where instead of improving due to his abuse and pushing past it and becoming a better person due to his abuse, he has gone down the other path that usually happens with a lot of abuse victims and has become the abuser. So I thought that was great. I like the fact that he's not completely out of the picture. We still have him around to possibly be used in some type of way in a future season, which I like because I thought it would be ashamed to get rid of such a fantastic character so soon. So yeah, Soldier Boy, loved him. Great character, Jensen Ackles, amazing job. So those are my big three highlights of the season, but there is a few more that I would like to acknowledge and just rattle off just because I feel they deserve it. A-Train, I thought A-Train's storyline was really good this season. Very well done the way they wrote it so you're conflicted whether or not to feel for him or not because he's trying to be a better person and you can tell that he's struggling and he's not happy but he also does so many really bad things that is like it's hard for me to feel bad for you but i kind of still do mother's milk great this season love that we got to learn more about his conflict with soldier boy and his family got to see more of his family stuff with his daughter i hate todd nobody likes todd I'm glad he punched him in his stupid face. And Mother's Milk is just great. He's always been my favourite out of the boys crew, if we exclude Butcher. I love him every season, and I love him in this season. Frenchie and Kimiko I thought were really great this season as well. Um, I enjoyed their little arc. Not as much as the others, but I thought their little storyline was really good, and I really felt for Kimiko. Kimiko has been one of my favourite female characters in the show for a while also, so I really liked that. A lot of hard-hitting moments there. So next I'm going to talk about the few negatives that I had 
for the season. The very few things that bugged me towards the end. First one being in the finale, Black Noir's death. Now, Black Noir, I really wanted to be a part of my highlight section because I thought what they did with this character was really good in this season. They really made me feel for Black Noir. I always liked Black Noir, but they made me love him in this season. But, unfortunately, I thought his death in the finale, even though it made sense and even though it was sad, I really hope he's not dead. If he's dead, I'm going to be very disappointed because I feel like that's a waste of potential for the great character he could become. Because as much as we had good things with Black Noir, it felt like they were just about to level him up and give him some proper development and we're finally going to get Black Noir to his fullest, which I've been waiting for since season one. So I hope he comes back in season four in some type of way. My theory is that Homelander might find a way to get Vought to bring him back to life in some type of way because because he'll feel bad about killing him after finding out that Soldier Boy was really an awful person and Black Noir was right to warn him and tell him to kill him. Black Noir was his one of his only friends. So I feel like that's in character for Homelander to want to try to do because he genuinely did care about Black Noir. Another thing that bugged me and this is a very minor nitpick that I didn't even take issue with until I was discussing it with a friend in discord but Kimiko raging out in the fight scene in the finale while listening to the music even though it was obviously a great fight scene a great action scene and obviously Kimiko setting loose is awesome always it did kind of feel like it conflicted with her whole arc of not wanting to be a monster anymore and her not liking the way she's so brutal and savage in combat and stuff and he, she felt that she was the problem and everything so i kind of felt like that felt like it conflicted and contradicted the whole arc she had this season so i kind of wish they toned it down a bit to show her development but it's not it's not that big a deal the last negative i have and this is actually a pretty big one because this one genuinely does bug me quite a lot and i've seen it's bugged a lot of people as i spoke about it on twitter and a lot of people agreed with me on this one and starlight and huey the argument that they had in this season with huey taking temp v and Starlight saying that he's in the wrong and the way they handle it where they make Huey just seem like a toxic male. I hate that little plot point. I thought that was awful. I did not like the way they handled it. I felt like they could have made it work. Like at first I was like, okay, maybe if they explain it and touch on it more in either the next season or in the finale where Starlight actually acknowledges Huey's feelings, which she doesn't, I would have been fine with it. Instead, in the finale, Huey goes goes on about his father and then basically admits to being a toxic male and Starlight just says I told you so which as much as the speech about his father is really nice I still feel like Huey had very valid emotions and feelings to want to take Temp V and to feel like he was powerless and to feel like he needed powers to help Starlight and the people he cares about. Which Starlight just doesn't acknowledge at all. And it doesn't help that Starlight is basically a hypocrite because she helps Kimiko go get real V so she can get her powers back when essentially she wants them for the exact same reason Huey does to protect the people she cares about and she's just fine with it I'll get it for you but Huey he's in the wrong he's it's because he's macho and there's a toxic masculinity thing which one of the creators of the show even said it was due to him wanting to use it to feel macho and everything which I think is sort of disrespectful to Huey's emotions and the fact that he lost somebody due to somebody with powers, right? His girlfriend got ran through by A-Train. They've been struggling to get any form of leg up on the soups for ages now. Starlight has been stuck in multiple situations where she could be killed in a second's notice. She was Homelander's girlfriend for a second because 
of Homelander's publicity stunt where Homelander could have done any numerous amounts of awful things to her and he could do nothing about it. There's so many reasons why Huey's emotions are valid in that situation and Starlight just doesn't acknowledge his feelings in the situation and I just thought that was a very poor way to handle it. I felt like it was a disrespectful way to handle it and yeah, that's my biggest gripe of the season. That's the only reason that this season goes from a 10 to like a 9 for me which, spoiler alert, I guess you know my rating but yeah, that genuinely bugged me. Regardless of the few issues I had, The Boys Season 3 is still absolutely fantastic and is for me the best season of comic book television we have had this year so as you already heard i kind of spoiled it but my rating would be a 9 out of 10 and i would give this series 5.5 infinity stones with that thank you for watching subscribe if you enjoyed the video follow me on my other platforms if you enjoyed the art and i hope you all have a balanced day